Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll finally be doing the long awaited, long anticipated video. Um, I'll be talking about my university experience plus giving you guys advice and answering all your questions. Um, the first part, um, I did it with my friend Wara. I'll link the description in the description box below. So um, I've, been re I've received like a ton of questions of ton of messages from you guys in my gmail on instagram so i'm just gonna kill two birds with one stone and literally just answer them all in this video i'm literally just gonna be talking about the social life education um how to get good grades relationships so um you know i'm, I'm gonna be spilling all the tea once again so y'all might wanna y'all might wanna sit back relax and stay tuned to this one because it's about to be real good okay real good Okay, first of all, the most question I've been asked is, how did you make friends at uni? Like, like how, like some people like they're shy and they don't know how to make friends. Well, number one, you've got to be a big. Okay, when I started uni, I was so to myself and I wasn't really out there and I really regret that. I wish like I was outgoing, outspoken, like I really am. But I was a bit of a shy bird, so I literally just didn't speak to people. Um, and that's not what you want so you have to be a beg you have to go up to people and be like hi and if you're too shy and can't do it make sure you attend all the freshers event I only went to about two and there's about ten like how boring am I so firstly go to all your freshers events especially if you're coming to the university on your own I would advise you go to all of them take advantage of them guys and if you can't speak to people if you're too shy guys I'm gonna give you all a little secret but you can't tell anyone that I told you because that's not it's just not recommended but vodka <laughs> see I hate vodka but sometimes you have to blame it on the uh, 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 alcohol and if the alcohol is gonna give you that confidence you better slang them drinks in your throat girl and literally vodka is gonna make you talk to Bianca and Bianca could be your friend for the rest of your life you don't know it so make sure you like you know just approach people don't come into uni with your head held up high because you get a thousand likes on instagram thinking you're the spice of the world and you know if anyone's gonna be your friend they need to approach you girl mm -mm. you have to be nice be friendly at the end of the day you and your friend can be a bitch together but at least make the friend first do you know what i mean but yeah it's always good to be friendly and you attract what you are so if you're friendly you will attract friendly girls if you're a bitch, then you're gonna attract the bitches who are gonna stab you back in the back in second year and you're gonna be alone for the rest of the year. You don't want that. Another thing I wouldn't advise, guys, is try not to make friends with the people who are not in your year or the people who likely won't pass first year. <laughs> no shade. But the thing is, when they leave and you're actually on your own, this actually affected me because all my friends were in the year above. So when they graduated, I was literally alone. But thankfully, I did know a few girls in my year who were more than happy to take me in. So I love them for that. Um, and I will be doing a video with them very soon. So guys, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Another thing is you could also join a society. So I realized, even though I didn't join any, I did try and join netball. But child, on the trials, I was running out of breath. I had stitches everywhere. So if you want to make friends, join a society. Um, not only ACS, because, you know, it's a bit of a cliche now like join other things you know intermingle with other races other people you know i feel like uni is something you should take advantage of like when it comes to the social life take advantage of it so you can actually make friends with like different people and they can introduce you to different things you can learn different things network child network okay just don't don't stick with the same kind of people that you will see back in London or back in your hometown or blah 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 wherever you live just go out there network equals net worth if you didn't know you heard it from me first cha yeah but yeah so um, I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I'm not really like that but if I could do uni again trust me daddy I would switch up everything like I would take everything like it's my last opportunity seriously I feel like no one, there should be like a guide, a book like that says uni is evil, so make sure you come well armed. I'd be, I mean, if that was the case, I'd probably be a first class student. Okay guys, on to the next thing, how to get good grades. Well, trust me, I know this. Um, 
in my first and second year, I'm not shy to say this, I got 2-1. I feel like I could have done better. I literally just scraped a 2-1 because I'm a bit lazy. True. Laziness. <laughs> Laziness is actually a disease at uni. Like, honestly, you would wake up for work, but for the 9 a.m.s at uni, you wouldn't wake up. Like, it's like, it's just, oh. But in order to get like a first class or just a good grade in general, make sure you chase up your teachers, make sure you're their best friend, always show them drafts before you're handing your final piece. And please, I don't do this, I don't, actually don't do this anymore. Do not wait till the day before to do your assignments. Oh, I'm a third year now, so I can't even afford to be doing that. I mean, I already had one error this year that I just couldn't afford. So fingers crossed and pray for me guys that I do well. But yeah, make sure you're your teacher's best friend. Like, honestly, I realized that if you think university is the measurement for knowledge, child no like education does not measure knowledge anymore because education i just feel like the whole education system is flawed like a teacher depending on their mood may give you a good grade or a, a bad grade simply depending on their mood so sometimes like don't trip don't feel like don't feel down or don't be depressed if you get a bad grade because it's universal like at the end of the day, the lecturer is a person just like you. There's no strict guideline. It's just how they feel. Y'all know, I'm, 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 I'm just getting a little bit emotional because, I mean, I've had to call up a few teachers and be like, what happened? Because I thought I did well. So what happened? Why am I not seeing a 70 or above? But yeah, that's just it. Anyways, and another thing is guys, just stay dedicated and just always remember why you're at uni. Some people really get lost, like, as to why they're uni, and then when they graduate, they're like, oh my god, I'm having uni withdrawal syndrome, like, no, just always remember that you're in uni to get a good grade, so that you can further your career, further your life when you graduate, so just always remember that, and I think if you always remember that and wake up every day and remind yourself, it will kind of push you to just stay focused, you know, stay dedicated and also keep on going throughout the year. And that's, and also guys, what I said about being best friends with all your lecturers, always going to them, be that bugaboo. It would, it will actually get you far. Cause I've had um, friends and family who do that and I wish I could be more like them. But like I said, I have laziness, but I'm, I'm literally switching out. That's one of my new year's resolution. Time, I can't afford to not, do well in life okay all my dreams are slowly slipping away and i need to take my own life into my own take control of my own life yeah and yeah that goes for you guys too at the end of the day it's your life and you have to take control of it so yeah thirdly one girl messaged me um on my gmail um i'll link it down below if you guys have any questions and she asked me she was like um you got a man now i was like all oh, the shade but she's like have you got a man now or if not have you had any like experience of love any like close encounter with the the upper the opposite sex you know and i just like not really not in this uni like my uni is filled with man whores so i'm not about to you know get involved with them and then because it's like if like what's the point of getting involved with a guy who's not serious about being serious like if if he's a player if he plays other girls just don't just don't be the 30 for the hardy okay okay like don't be a 30 for the hardy all right um but yeah so no i haven't met anyone that you know has stolen my heart and not that i'm picky or anything i just don't have time to be heartbroken when I'm still trying to get my assignments done. Do you know what I mean? Because they're, they're, they in themselves are breaking my heart. So um, yeah, no I haven't. But with that being said, I know a lot of people that are in relationships, good and bad, at uni. Um, the good ones are really great actually. Obviously you have a friend at uni, someone you can rely on, someone when you're hungry can order you some yum chi, or you know, hungry else, just be dominoes, Pizza Hut, child. I miss those, you know, I miss those opportunities. I gotta spend my own coins. But <laughs> I'm joking. But um, yeah, so I have those, and you know, you have someone you can talk to at night, someone you can visit, someone you can, you know, <laughs> someone you can cuddle with. <laughs> I haven't had that in so long. But um, yeah. 
it, you have that aspect but then there are the bad relationships that the guys are clearly cheating on the girl and just make the girl look like a laughing stock and like a fool so when you are look if you are looking for a relationship at uni or if you happen to bump into a guy who's you know taking your interest then be careful because heartbreaks at uni trust me i've seen some and they are not cute like mm -mm. Like, I don't even wish that on any of you guys. Like, you guys are like my family, and I don't want my family to get hurt. So, guys, really do take care because I, I, I wouldn't want you guys in that situation. Mm -mm. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of what else I can do. Oh, yeah, someone asked me what inspired my um, choice in something subjects. She asked me about my college subjects and my university subject. Well, currently, I just study business and HR management. It has nothing to do with what I, I was college was so stressful for me guys I hated college so much college I think is like high school in America so I don't know how you guys do it but college is like university is college back in America and then college is on below that I don't know how you guys do it but yeah university um, as, as to me is so much easier than college in college I was depressed I was stressed I felt like with my friends I just felt sick but college is so much better you're just more in charge you know of your life you're more in control you decide what you want to do you decide when you want to come home you decide what you're going to eat even though that's that's actually quite that's kind of a flaw of uni because food be taking my trains like real quick but what <laughs> i'm so off topic like honestly but yeah um uni i decided to do business in hr because i just really wanted this is really bad guys but i actually chose my subject because there's many jobs in it i wasn't about to be one of those people that graduated and have no career like i just need a job straight away because i can't afford to be sitting at home or, and i can't afford to be doing a no degree needed job no shade to those who do it but i personally can't like this whole education system job system is so hard guys so just try and be the best try and get the best grade just be also you as a person it's not always about the grade even though that helps you be you as a person just try and build yourself up you know build your brand so that you can excel in life i feel like i feel like you know this inspiration motivation talkers I just don't even know what they're called, but I feel like one of them right now. I feel like I'm, I'm even motivating myself as I speak to you guys. Like, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, do ask them in the description box below. I hope everything I said today covered all your questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do enjoy doing these type of videos. So if you guys do want more, just tell me what you want me to talk about. Also tell me uh, what you'd like to see in the future. I'm thinking of doing challenges and vlogs. So let me know what you think of that. Thank you guys for staying tuned. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Also like this video. It helps me a lot, guys. Thank you so much. Love you loads. Bye and God bless.